Hello, in this video I will show how to connect to the EV Health system using a WebSocket with Java. So the first thing what we need is we need some boilerplate code, so HTML5 boilerplate. So download, and I think I can also directly, uh, let's just download this one here, and go into it, and then take the HTML5, where is the index, this one. So this is what I want to have. So let's go here. Then what I will do is I will start Visual Studio Code um, in my checked out uh, repository. And the um, our static assets, they are in source, main resources, meta inf. And, and here are the static resources. So this meta inf resources is directly, um, directly mapped into the root. So if I say here new file and I call it a websocket, websocket.html and I just paste the code. So let's get rid of some stuff that we don't need. So this can all be gone. This is also what we don't want and also this is not needed. And now I think this should be okay. Then let's save it. And normally our Quarkus system should directly be able to start that. So now if I go, uh, if I remove here all the front end app scripts prescription stuff um, here and put in slash websocket.html, I, I should find the websocket HTML page. And now let's implement a websocket. So here let's do a script and type uh, text uh, Java JavaScript. And this, this will be ugly JavaScript code. So uh, <laughs> nevertheless, um, this is just uh, how uh, examples are working. So we have, we have WS. So, so this, this, is, um, um, is, this is a WebSocket without using SSL. Our system provides SSL as well. So if you want to use SSL, you just have to do, uh, use two S's. But keep in mind that nobody will give you um, a real certificate for local host. Um, so we are uh, providing a pre-generated uh, uh, self-signed certificate for localhost. You can use it, but you don't have to. So then we do a WebSocket. Uh, here we connect to the WebSocket. And now let's do const WebSocket. Here you go. And then let's use the on open message on open equals function uh, console.log WebSocket opened, and then let's do an on mess. Uh, this is doing on message. So the on message function is called if you get back a message from the WebSocket. So let's just call it data. Um, and now let's also directly send a message. Um, so I think there's just a WebSocket send. And let's send a hello world. And I'm, I'm not 100% sure if we have to wait uh, for, for the opening or if this will work, but let's just see. So now let's open the network here. Okay, so we connected to the system. This all worked and now there was one error and there it says it's still a connected mode. So we have to uh, wait until uh, this was opened. So we will use a, con a callback, uh, send when it's open. Or let's 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 use a promise. Uh, or let's let's use a callback. So from now on, let's let's just use a callback. Okay, so let's try again. Okay, so, so now it worked. The, the important thing was that we have to wait until the uh, socket is open. And this Hello World, you can see it now in the console of, of our system. So what we do is in normal mode, we, uh, uh, we, we echo all the messages. And what the system is telling us, the th system can't parse it as JSON. Okay, so uh, th this message is not defined. If you want to see all the defined message, you can go into source test resources, then uh, WebSocket messages. 
and here you have uh, all the messages with, dis with descriptions and here you have example messages and let's uh, just um, see the uh, request settings message so this request settings message basically it, it will just uh, send the message to the, our system telling the system hey tell me how you're conf currently configured and we will just put it here and then also uh, when we uh, let's do json dot stringify Uh, WebSocket on message. Uh, let's just do an alert uh, data. I'm not sure what what a data really is, but let's let's figure this out. And now again, uh, reload. Okay, so there is a message object in there. Here, this was the request settings message. This was the response. And now let's also try to, to get the, um, um, to get the uh, data that was in the response. So let's reload. And this data, it has a variable, it's called data.data and there's JSON in there. So let's uh, get this data.data. Um, and typically what, what you would typically do is you would parse this as JSON. So um, uh, O object, you would do this, JSON, JSON.parse. And now this should work. Let's save it. Let's reload. And now you can see here that this, this was the answer that was saved to the system. Um, and this basically is how to how you connect to our system via a normal HTML page. Thanks a lot and let's go for the next video.